Hello, today I am going to show an overview of the latest version of Kubuntu and some of the applications pre-installed. Kubuntu is an official flavor of the Ubuntu operating system that uses the KDE Plasma desktop instead of the GNOME desktop environment. As part of the Ubuntu project, Kubuntu uses the same underlying systems. Every package in Kubuntu shares the same repositories as Ubuntu, and it is released regularly on the same schedule as Ubuntu. Kubuntu is sponsored by Canonical Limited until 2012 and then directly by Blue Systems. Now, employees of Blue Systems contribute upstream, to KDE and Debian, and Kubuntu development is led by community contributors. During the changeover, Kubuntu retained the use of Ubuntu project servers and existing developers. Kubuntu was born on December 10, 2004 at the Ubuntu Madero Conference in Madero, Spain. Canonical employee Andreas Mueller, from Nopix, had the idea to make a new Ubuntu KDE variant and got the approval from Mark Shuttleworth to start the first Ubuntu variant, called Kubuntu. On the same evening Chris Halls from the Open Office Project and Jonathan Riddell from KDE started volunteering on the Newborn Project. The Kubuntu team released the first edition, Hari Hedgehog, on April 8, 2005. K-Desktop Environment 3 was used as default interface until Kubuntu 8.04. That version included KDE Plasma Desktop as unsupported option which became default in the subsequent release, 8.10. On February 6, 2012, Canonical employee Jonathan Riddell announced the end of Canonical's Kubuntu sponsorship. On April 10, 2012, Blue Systems was announced on the Kubuntu website as the new sponsor. As a result, both developers employed by Canonical to work on Kubuntu, Jonathan Riddell and Aurelian Gatto, transferred to Blue Systems. Kubuntu follows the same naming versioning system as Ubuntu, with each release having a code name and a version number based on the year and month of release. Canonical provides support and security updates for Kubuntu components that are shared with Ubuntu for 18 months, 5 years in case of long-term support versions, after release. Kubuntu uses systemd as is in its software and supports btrfs, x3, x4, jfs, RicerFS and XFS file systems. For package management Kubuntu uses apt. Here you can see the commands to install software from the command line using the apt package manager. For self-contained applications Kubuntu uses snap. Kubuntu includes version 5.11.0 of the Linux kernel. Some of the default applications of this release of Kubuntu are Ocular, Firefox, Thunderbird, KTorrent, VLC and LibreOffice. Please feel free to tell me what you think of the latest release of Kubuntu in the comments section. Thank you for watching the video and please help the channel by sharing leaving a like and subscribing.